AirFocus is a dedicated product management software that helps you run proper discovery, prioritize the right things to do, and align your teams around clear roadmaps. With the AirFocus Jira integration, you can seamlessly sync your data automatically between both worlds and connect product development with discovery. In this video, you'll learn how to authorize application linking between Jira and AirFocus, configure the Jira integration for a given workspace, map fields, push AirFocus items as Jira issues. Setting up the integration is easy. You can connect AirFocus with your Jira Cloud, Jira Server, or Jira Data Center instance. First, you need to authorize the application linking between Jira and AirFocus. Let's get started on our Voom demo workspace. Next, go to the Apps dropdown within your workspace. Then, choose Connect to a new Jira instance and enter your Jira instance URL. Follow the directions of the authorization wizard to authorize the application linking from steps 1 to 3. You only have to do this once per AirFocus team. You'll have to be a Jira admin in order to do the authorization. For this example, we'll scroll through the steps, but all you need to do is copy and paste the necessary identifiers from AirFocus into Jira. Next, let's configure the Jira integration for your workspace. First, you can name your integration. We recommend to name your integration after the Jira project that you'll integrate with. Then, select the project. You can use filtering to define which of your Jira issue types you want to import and sync. You can filter by custom JQL query. If this part is left blank, then we import everything from the project. Let me show you how to create and get the right JQL. Go to your Jira project and then click on Advanced Issue Search. For this example, we will import and sync Jira Epics. Select what you need in the drop-down menu and click Switch to JQL once you're done. There it is. Copy the JQL and paste it to AirFocus. Please note that we will only import and sync issues that match the JQL query. All other issues will be ignored. Next up, you can use mapping to define how information in Jira should be mapped to your fields in AirFocus. You can set the mapping directions for all fields at once. By default, the mapping direction is set from Jira to AirFocus only. In the field mapping options, you'll see that the item name and item description are configured by default. You can also define for each field whether you want a one-way or two-way sync between the fields in Jira and AirFocus. Some field types have limited direction options due to Jira's technical restrictions. We offer tons of powerful mapping options and you can now directly map the most popular Jira system and custom fields such as status, sprints, priority, fixed version, due date, and much more with your AirFocus custom fields. Let's start with status. Once you selected the two fields, you can select the field options and how they should be mapped. You can configure many-to-one mapping for select field options. Please note that you're only able to map Jira fields to AirFocus fields if both ends have the same field type. When selecting a field in the dropdown, only fields that match the field type will be displayed in the dropdown on the other end. Please ensure that all fields you configured in your integration are available for the issue types on Jira which are included in your filter. Let's also map the AirFocus Party Score and select Start Due Date to a Jira custom field. When Archive Unknown Issues is enabled, 
then previously imported issues will be archived in AirFocus if they are not present in Jira or do not match the Jira issue filter anymore. To simplify your work, you can have your integration automatically synced every 10 minutes and whenever you access the workspace. You can also check out your Jira integration logs, which allow you to easily see what changes were made before the last sync. And that's it! You've successfully mapped your fields and set up the integration. Let's move on to pushing a prioritized Air Focus item to Jira. Go to the item you want to push and select Push to Integration. As you can see, our pushed item and its priority score from AirFocus have also been added. With the two-way integration, you'd be able to monitor the status of connected Jira issue right from within AirFocus. Finally, if you'd like to add multiple Jira integrations to a given workspace, you can restart the same process by clicking on the Jira integration on the Integration Overview page. And that's the Jira integration for you. Start using AirFocus's Jira integration today so you can monitor progress in one place, collaborate seamlessly with your dev teams, and align your product management with execution.